coming to get you, Barbara. Mrs. Peterson. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Now I'm not going to be talking about the guest in full today in this video. I'm going to be doing a guest video later on. But this video is just about the guest being one of the perfect Halloween anthology movies. Now we already know that the guest and Adam Wingard absolutely love the Halloween franchise. You know, he, he adores it. So much so that he put a lot of his work and effort into the guest, into giving us a sort of Halloween anthology movie. Now we've already got the season of the witch vibes with the colouring and the season of the witch masks appearing in, Hall uh, in Halloween in the guest. But also Adam Wingard is setting the character of David around a human form of Michael Myers. When I say a human form, I don't mean Michael Myers was inhuman because he was also human but given us that charming version of Michael Myers where we see his face and he speaks so David and the guest is almost like the opposite look to Michael Myers but he's got the capabilities of the robots in Season of the Witch where we, obviously David wasn't a robot himself but he was part of this organisation similar to Halloween 3 Season of the Witch so they've got that kind of organisation look about it in the guest as well as that look and feel of Season of the Witch. You've then got the perfect antagonists, you've then got the perfect protagonist as well in the movie and it just gives us a perfect formula for what would have been a perfect Halloween anthology movie and you're probably thinking what's the point in this video? Well the point is I'm still talking about these anthology movies that would be good as a, a serving as a build up to another Michael Myers movie in the future and I've talked about it to death because I think Halloween Ends is also a perfect Halloween anthology movie. I think if you get someone like Adam Wingard on board to do a non-Michael Myers Halloween anthology movie we would enjoy it because if you made the guest and called it Halloween in your head you want to hate it because it doesn't feature Michael Myers but in your heart when you watch the guest if it was called Halloween of course you would be thinking, wow, this is amazing. I wish it wasn't called Halloween 4, Season of the Witch. I wish it was called something else. So if you slap the guest onto it, you automatically love it. And that's the same with Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. The guest is almost like a semi-remake of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Only Adam Winger doesn't make the mistake in calling it Halloween. He calls it something else and it's perfect. Like I said, I will be diving into the guest more later on in the, the channel because it's got more depth to it than maybe you think originally when you watch it for the first time. Um, it's just got all those layers to it and a lot of those layers include some Halloween vibe to it which I really loved about The Guest. That may be one of the reasons why I love The Guest so much because of the score, the cinematography, the acting and just that vibe of Halloween all the way throughout the entire movie. But then when you break it down into sections like what, what it's tributing, the homage to other films in The Guest, that all leads to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I think Adam Wingard did mention about it when he was making the film and when he was done, doing interviews for it, that he owes a lot of the success to the movie and the look to the movie, not just to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, but to Halloween in general, with that unstoppable force that is David in the movie, because David is essentially, like I said, a Michael Myers type character. At the start, it was so charming. Obviously not like Michael, but it was so charming at the start. We don't know what his game is, but he's escaped this facility and he's just a killing machine. And not only that, and not only is he human, but he gets stabbed and shot in this film and he still gets up and manages to do what he wants to do. He's almost got this thing in his head where he's like, I need to do something and I'm going to see it through regardless of what happens to me. And that's exactly what Michael Myers does. And that's exactly what Michael is. And it's the same with David and the guest. Only we're getting this human look to David so we get to feel for his character. We don't feel for Michael because we don't see his face and we don't want him to win. And although we don't want these people to die in the guest, there's something about David that's so charming that you want to invest yourself in him as a character even though he's killing people but that's for another video I'll get more into that later on in another video but that's the reason why I love the guest so much is because that tribute that we get to Michael Myers 
Halloween and a sort of Season of the Witch anthology movie. So what are your thoughts on that guys? What are your thoughts on getting more anthology movies in the style of Halloween Ends unfortunately and in the style of The Guest? Uh, I think it sounds really good to be honest but leave your, your thoughts down below, leave your comments down below as well. Let me know what you think. Should we get an anthology series and should it be in the vein of movies like The Guest? As always guys, thanks all for watching, thanks for subscribing and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. That's an interesting theory.